All right. What's up, you comic book junkies? That's right. We're doing deep red golden age covers in this video. So strap it in. This is going to be a real, real good one. So here we go. First up, we have Battle Cry. Oh, I forget who does this. Oh, man. Stanley Morris, I think. Uh, Battle Cry number 14. This may be a pedigree. We got a little mark up there, but just a gorgeous cover. And I just love that guy's head in the middle, like screaming, like crying. Battle Cry. Action Pack Tales of Real Combat. Great cover. Deep Reds. Can't go wrong with that. Next up we have, ooh, Young Life. I like this one because it has this stamp right there. That was so cool. This is a very scarce book, it's Summer 45. The book after it, number two I have, which is even scarcer, has a war cover. But this is cool, it's uh, two comic book stories. You've got articles in here on celebrities, uh, advice columns, you have uh, puzzles. It's really, it's really cool. And that, look at this, crime crashes the canteen. So it's, it's got good stuff in it. Next up, another war book by Standard. This is just a really killer, good girl cover. Look at that. Right there. And you're not going to believe what it says right here. Battle of the Sexes, the 38th Parallel Hassle. She is gorgeous. Great, great graphics. Look at those uh, missiles being lobbed over. I love that cover. All right, what's up? Ooh, this was an A-OK -okay from my friend Jambo Comics. Check him out, sub him up. Great Kinsler cover. You got headlights there. You got it all, baby. Fighting Sheriff, Battles for the Law and Order, number 11. Just a great cover. Deep Reds. Thank you, Jamie. That is from 1952. And next we have an LB book. What do you guys think of that one? So this is a comes from a series called Horrors. It's Horrors of War, Crime, Horrors of Jungle. He does original covers on these and gorgeous ones at that. And then they're Fox reprints in the interiors. But just a really great, you could tell that's LB. Look at the skin color, how pink it is. That's usually a te tell that's an LB cover. But just a great book. And that is number 12 from 1950. 53. Oh, man. Look at this one. Ooh, ooh. Miss Beverly Hills. We got either a pedigree or a dealer mark on this book also. We got Leonardo DiCaprio right here. John Payne. Just a really cool... Uh, it, it has Dorothy Lamore inside, Road to Stardom. Another one has more comics than this other one. It's similar to this book. But it has more comics in it, but it has articles and stuff like that. Very cool. Like you can see extra best letter contest winners in this issue. I got kind of a headlight there. So I don't know if that's supposed to be Dorothy Le Lamore. I don't know. Next up, ooh, a beautiful early faucet. Wow, number six. Just a great cover. This is an auto binder, I think. And uh, it's the first appearance of this guy here i forget his name uh commando yank i believe it is or phantom eagle i don't know Int this is both their first appearances Ooh. sorry i haven't looked at this book in a long time they're busting right out of that yellow, that red page cover this is from 1942 first appearance yeah that's their first appearance this is I just got lucky on this book, man. I think I got it for 70 bucks. High grade. But this book goes for about four to 600. That's what the listings are going for right now. But anyways, we're moving on. And I want to show you this book again. This book here is actually... the One of these is the first issue. I think it's this one. Let me see. Yeah, this is the first issue, and this they changed the title after issue three. 
So this is the title change, Teen Life. There is one more issue after this I need to get. But this is another one against two comic book stories in here. Uh, prize, our prizes, puzzles, articles. Very cool. Just This one's really extremely hard to get, especially complete. Usually the centerfold is missing in it. So that's number three. Wow, it's right down there. From 1945. Ooh, look at this next book. That is a great... Someone showed this to me, and I jumped on either eBay or my comic shop, or, or probably eBay, and see if I could find a, locate a copy. Just happened to be this one. It's really low grade, but it, the cover's really presentable, and it was cheap. But you laughed when I wrote The Letter to Santa Claus, America's Funnest Family. This is an ACG. And, you know, keep an eye out for these. There are several great covers in here. There's a ghost one. There's this one. There's a love tunnel, tunnel of love one. And that's number 21, December 1950. Another great book coming up. This was a one shot by a small publisher. And this is Medal of Honor Comics. So each, it has like two pages dedicated to all the Medal of Honor winners up to the this point in time. Really great comic. It shows up every now and then. So like every other year, you'll see one listed for a good price. And usually these are weird. They're either they're really high grade, maybe because it was a warehouse find. I don't know. But usually when I see them, they're in high grade. All right, moving on, moving on. Ooh, we had a very seductive cover. We have your cheesecake right here. And uh, just redhead, red cover and a redhead. Well, I have advice to you guys out there. Don't don't marry redheads because they're like wildcats. Believe me, I was married to one for nine years. And it was a roller coaster on a daily scale. Glimpses into the ultimate secrets of girls in love. So that's Night Tiger's romance advice to the community. Sorry, redheads, but you know that you're fiery. Number 27, quality comic, 1952. Ooh, this book. I couldn't believe I got this as cheap as I did. And it has really got some great stories in it. 11 comic news features. As you can see right here, the Crooked Mile movie mystery. And this one is the best. Bikini Atom Bomb. They actually give you the, the whole war plan step by step of this operation in here. I love it. Picture news in color, November 1946. Deep Red Baby. All right. Ooh, Ghost Rider Magazine Enterprises. Number 14, The Fastest Man of the West. You know you love this book. You know you want it. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that title. Blam! Boom, boom. Look at him move. It's really fast. Faster than The Flash. Dick Ayer's cover, of course. Number 14, 1954. Now we have an Atlas book with a killer clown cover. Kill, clown, kill. Uncanny Tales, number seven. Just a really creepy cover. A great date stamp right here. You got your little cheesecake back there in case you need to put on some weight. And this is, num what did I say? This is number seven from 1953. Then we have, uh, what is this? Uh, Orbit, Orbit Publisher. Wanted, not September 1950. Just a cool, another headlight cover. What is it about these headlights? These, I don't know. Hangman's Holiday. Come on, guys. What a great book. And then on every cover, they have like a wanted poster of one of the top, what is it, most wanted 10 on the FBI list or something like that. They give you the story on them. Look, it's Jimmy Stewart. Be on the lookout for Jimmy Stewart. Ooh, another ACG crime book. Great. I don't even know what that is. Some kind of plants attacking that guy. And she's going to take care of it with an axe. She's covering up her cheesecakes. Garden of Horror. So I'm guessing he's not a got a green thumb. 
the plant. It's a vampire. Ooh, I never read that. That's pretty cool. There's a date stamp right here. America's first and greatest supernatural, number 48. What is this from? October 1953. Last but not least, Deep Red. Bobby Benz's B, Bar B, Riders, number 15 with a Ghost Rider. Demons. Dude, this book is just killer. This book is so killer that I had to buy another one. And there's actually one on eBay for sale right now, but they want too much. You got one dealer mark. You got another dealer mark or pedigrees. I don't know. Another one over here. That's three different marks on this book. It's really cool. Golly, even the Ghost Rider is scared when he meets the freaks of fear. Okay, what do you guys think of my deep red covers? Uh, challenge to the whole community on this. And uh, when, when you check this out, be aware that next week is uh, the week after the purple covers. What am I saying? Be aware that next week is purple cover week. So I'll be showing four different videos of purple covers from all genres, all eras. All right. Night Tiger, say peace out.